Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 games you're probably not going to see in 2021. Clearly, we've left off some big titles from our list of top 10 anticipated games of 2021, but with so many games in the works, we gotta be honest with ourselves, many of the games we think are going to release this year are not. Which games do you think are going to be delayed to 2022? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Star Citizen. Come on, you bushwhacking Rannis, let's go! Gonna shoot or talk to him? This may seem obvious, but there's no way this game is releasing in 2021, and we highly doubt it'll launch within the next few years. First announced in 2012, Star Citizen has spent years in development, with only a few playable modules so far released to the public. A business model built on selling in-game ships for exorbitant prices in real-world money has raised questions over the integrity and purpose of the project. You gotta wonder, how does a game spend over a decade in development hell while continuing to sell ship insurance for something that still hasn't left Alpha? Damn it, Maddie. Hold on. Number 9. Starfield and the Elder Scrolls VI We're sure that Bethesda is quietly toiling away at these two projects, but so far, it's been a little too quiet. The company has shared a few details, but there hasn't been much outside of building a new engine and putting Skyrim Grandma into Elder Scrolls 6. We still don't even know where Elder Scrolls 6 is taking place. As for Starfield, we haven't seen anything significant since that teaser at E3 2018, and we're supposedly not going to hear about it again until sometime this year. Clearly, these games need more time in the oven. Number 8. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe I want to add new endings and new content, new adventures for you. Won't it be fun? The Stanley Parable was an excellent game with its branching paths and hilarious writing. So, just knowing it's coming to modern consoles has us excited to see what new content has been thrown in. Alas, we've gone an extensive period of time without much news outside of the game getting delayed. Look, we understand this ultra deluxe version of the game is coming with a ton of new content, but this was announced at the 2018 Game Awards. If this game is as big as its title is making it out to be, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe might not be released anytime soon. Wait. What do you mean we never put the game on consoles? Of course we put it on consoles. Number 7, Diablo 4. It always starts with a journey to a distant land. It's been roughly a decade since Diablo 3 released and let us all experience that fantastical journey to the Error 37 box. As much as we'd like to see the fourth installment of the franchise, it's hard to see how Blizzard could deliver before the end of 2021. The conglomerate has been toiling away at not just Diablo 4, but Overwatch 2, which we won't be getting for some time, and the mobile spin-off Diablo Immortal. From where we stand, Blizzard has its hands full right now, so if anything was to come out before 2021 ends, it'll probably be immortal. For the time being, Diablo 4 seems to only exist in trailers, blog posts, and GIFs. Number 6. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 Yes, we know we put this as one of our most anticipated games of 2021, but admittedly, we feel conflicted about this game. While we want the game to make a holiday 2021 release window, it has unfortunately seen an unhealthy amount of shifts in management. Key developers have either been fired or left the project on their own accord, and there have been rumors that the game is quietly being scrapped and reworked into something else entirely. Adding to the uncertainty is how we've seen plenty of cinematic trailers and no gameplay, while job listings for positions like lead producer and lead gameplay designer are left vacant. Who can say what the future is for Bloodlines 2? Number 5. Metroid Prime 4 Metroid Prime was a fantastic series of FPS games. Sadly, we haven't had a new installment since Metroid Prime 3 Corruption in 2007, and the fourth game has had a tumultuous development period. The game was originally going to be developed by Bandai Namco Studios before Nintendo pulled the plug in January 2019, stating that the game was not meeting standards. And so, development shifted over to Retro Studios, and job listings have come and gone since the transition. We may see some gameplay footage or even a teaser trailer this year, but a full launch? Not likely. Number 4. Elden Ring That which 
which commanded the stars. From Software has continued to put out solid work since closing the story on the Dark Souls franchise, and what may be their biggest outing yet is Elden Ring. This game is being developed in collaboration with George R. R. Martin, author of the Song of Ice and Fire books that spawned the Game of Thrones TV series. It's a pretty ambitious project, but we haven't seen anything about it since the teaser back at E3 2019. Development began in 2017, so they have to be getting close to a release date, right? Well, the silence tells us the earliest we'll be getting the game is spring 2022, maybe even summer 2022. Number 3. Skull and Bones From your shipyard, you choose the Black Horn for the upcoming battle. What's even happening with this game anymore? First revealed at E3 2017, Skull and Bones has had an insanely weird timeline in development and marketing. Ubisoft showed quite a bit of gameplay at E3 2018, only to inexplicably restart development sometime between then and now. While Ubisoft has expressed satisfaction in how the rebooted development has been progressing, the game was delayed in October 2019 along with several other Ubisoft games that hadn't been released yet. At the time of writing, Skull and Bones is scheduled to launch sometime during Ubisoft's next fiscal year, April 2021 and March 2022. We're betting that it will be much closer to the latter. Number 2. God of War Sequel don't take this the wrong way. We would love it if the new God of War was released this year. Unfortunately, there are a couple of factors saying otherwise. Firstly, PlayStation already has 2021 stacked with major releases like Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart, Returnal, and Horizon Forbidden West. Secondly, all we've seen of the new God of War game is a logo, and that was September 2020. There are rumors that the game will be a cross-gen title, but if Sony wants to avoid competing with its own products and overcoming the market, they'll end up saving Kratos for 2022. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Halo Infinite. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. While there is a release window for fall 2021, Halo Infinite's development has been too troubled, so we think it'll be delayed. The project lost a few key players mid-development, creative director Tim Longo was reassigned to a different project, executive producer Mary Olsen left 343 Industries in October 2019, and director Chris Lee left the game a year later after a disappointing showcase in July 2020. With all that in mind, we're more inclined to believe a 2022 release date despite 343 Industries saying otherwise. At this point, we wouldn't be surprised if development restarts completely. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.